Hey colleagues, this is Mr. Granlund here. I'm going to go through how to add a video and embed the video like you see here. Now there's lots of uh, different tools that allow you to do this. Um, assignments is one. I'm going to show you how to do this with a page. So I'm going to click on add a page and on the page I'm going to click switch to HTML. Now I'm going to switch over to YouTube and find the video that I want to import. So I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to look through whatever videos I have. Maybe it's one of my welcome videos. And when I find the video that I want to embed, and this will work for any YouTube video, you click on the share button down at the bottom. Now there's some options up here and we're going to choose the embed option and that gives us this iframe code. We can click the copy button. Now we're going to switch back over to Schoology. And so since we've switched from visual to HTML mode, we're going to paste control V on the keyboard. We're going to paste this code from YouTube into Schoology. And when I switch this back, you'll see that a rectangle forms. And if I click Create, it's going to add that page. Well, after I title it. Oh. And click Create. Now you're going to notice so the page that I just created doesn't show the video on the front page. And that's because there's this little option. So I'm going to click on the gear icon on my new page that I just created. I'm going to go to edit. And at the bottom here, there's these options. One of the options is display on new page or display in line. And you want it to be so that it's lit up a little bit. So it says display in line and then save the options. Okay, and now here we have that video showing up on the main page. There's one more edit that we can do here too and that can be size. So you might not like this size that comes standard from YouTube. So if you click on the gear icon again and you head to the edit, we're gonna actually edit a little bit of code. So I'm gonna switch the button here in the top right hand corner. So I'm looking at the HTML and width is set to 560. We can change that to whatever we want. Maybe we want it 315 and the height to be 200 pixels. And I'm going to click Save Changes. And now you'll notice that it's much, much smaller. You can make those size adjustments too inside of YouTube. So under the embed code here, you can have the video start at a specific time if you want to. You can decide on privacy or show control options. Um, but there's also a way that you can edit the size inside of YouTube also. So after doing a little bit more research, if I click on share and do the embed options, uh, the API um, development that you'd have to do to change the size of the player inside of on the YouTube side is really complicated. I don't recommend it. If you want the YouTube video to be smaller, it is far easier to just click on the HTML and change the width and the height numbers to be something that seems to work better for you. Okay, I hope this helps. And uh, we'll see you next time.